Love is what? Relationship. Am I right? So if your relationship is strong with the Lord, you are through. Doesn't matter what your challenge is. I'm very, I'm very clear on this. Every problem with us is our relationship. Even in, even in the worldly sense, right? If you are not, if your relationship is not right with your boss, you have problems. If your relationship is not right with your children, you have problems. If your relationship is not right with your husband and wife, you will have problems. Am I right? Anyway, anyway, relationship brings the trust. Amen? So this is what God is saying, hey, don't look at that, uh, what you call the challenge, and look at me and see how close and how close you are with me. It's your relationship, it's your love that builds you into that trust. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. People of God. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 tells me, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose trust is only in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. That means he has got love for God. That means his all his soul, with all his mind, with all whatever it's doing, he's doing full to the Lord. Amen. That is trust. I love David for one reason. Did David make mistakes? Yes, he did. Because he's a human being, he has got challenges. But whenever the challenge comes, he doesn't see challenge, he'll go to the trust and see the challenge. Amen, hallelujah. That is what David is. That's what God said. You know, you are after God's own heart. David, God himself declared. You know why? You know why? He asked, he asked the Lord, Lord, create in me, what? A pure heart. Can everybody say that? Can you say that? A pure heart. A pure heart is a solution for your problems. A pure heart is a solution for your family life. A pure heart is a solution for your existence. A pure heart is a solution in your work spot. A pure heart is a solution in your finances. If you don't have a pure heart, you do something, she will do something. Am I, am I reaching you? Is it practical? David says, Lord, create in me a pure heart so that I don't have trouble anyway. Amen. We don't have pure heart. With all my heart, I'm telling you. We hide things from each other. We do things, you know, hiding each other, doing each other. People of God, that, does, that may help for a minute, but it doesn't help you forever. Amen. Hallelujah. A pure heart. That's what God, every verse says, with all your heart, heart is everything for a human being. And everything pops out of heart. Out of the overflow of your heart, your mouth speaks. What is that? How the mouth should speak? For some people, they have, they have something here, this sweet words. Oh, you are beautiful inside. Hey, I know you are. Hey, let us not cheat anybody. He is saying, Amen, hallelujah. He says, the inside of you. Amen. Hallelujah. You can cheat me. You can cheat your wife. You can cheat your husband. You can cheat your children. You can cheat your boss. You can cheat anybody. You cannot cheat God and you cannot cheat yourself. When you say somebody, you know what you are saying. When you look at somebody, you know what you are looking. When you think you are somebody, you know. You know what you are doing. That's what he says. He's talking to me. Create in me, O oh Lord, not outside, inside. A pure heart if you have. I don't say you don't have challenges, but challenges cannot overcome you. Amen. Hallelujah. More, not only that, you have a peaceful life. Amen. Hallelujah. The minute I practice the pure heart, I have a wonderful, peaceful life. I don't say I don't have problems. I don't have I don't have challenges, but I have peace in my heart. Amen. Hallelujah. A pure heart. A trust is completely, put it this way. Trust is directly relation to your pure heart. That's what God said. With all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, you love me so that I can do a miracle for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And do not cast me from your presence. 
Hey, your heart is very important when you sit before the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know. People of God, take it serious. God is speaking to the church. That means church needs this message. 